What is going on with that? I don't know. I never know what's going on with my hair. My hair is... Hi guys, welcome to this year's first video of 2022. I am super excited. I have so many plans, not just vlogs. I know I will be doing vlogs, but I kind of do vlogs to sort of pad out in between when I'm actually doing documentaries and stories for people. I've got so many ideas. I've got like two pages of stuff that I've written down. But to go forward into the future, we've got to go backwards. Let me explain. Mm -hmm. Several years ago, I had this idea to do this film. I wanted to do a film, kind of like a Ken Burns documentary with uh, actors and interviews. Well, yeah that didn't quite work out. the holiday break I was going through this old footage and I came across this project and I thought why not use this footage I mean I shot it I might as well use it if you've seen any of my photos on Instagram or some of the stories I've had here on my channel you'll know one of my great passions are tall ships and tugs <laughs> I was super hesitant about using this footage. Back when I shot this, I really didn't know what I was wanting to do with this. And I was also very intimidated by the cinema cameras that we had in our office. It was just way too much, I thought, you know, trying to interview someone. I don't want to have to be thinking about all of the stuff. And so I went with something that I did know and it is a piece of garbage. Those cameras should all be like dropped in the ocean and never seen again. But I've learned a lot since then. I'm now shooting on the Sony uh, A7S III 4K. It's a 422 10-bit. Um, yeah, see, I could just spit that stuff out like I know what I'm talking about. So this video and the images that follow, these were taken several years ago and I hope you enjoy it. I hope you maybe learn something from it. If nothing else, it, they are just beautiful, beautiful ships. It was a gorgeous day that day, and I wish they'd come back so I could take this on my new camera. This is from 2018, the Tall Ship Challenge, and me interviewing one of the crew members from the Tall Ship, Alyssa. in 1877 in Aberdeen, Scotland. In Aberdeen, they had several large shipyards. She was built by Alexander Hall and Company. At that time frame, uh, iron was um, the major component. They weren't building so many wood ships anymore. 
Alyssa's pretty special. She was built in a time where shipping vessels were three times her size. She's actually pretty small. If you go to the South Street Seaport in New York City, the waver tree is three times her size. She's quite large. And that was because uh, steam was becoming more prevalent. Uh, Steamships were kind of taking over the trade. And the ships had to become larger and larger to hold enough cargo to make a profit. Alyssa was specific for these smaller niche ports that had not as much depth of draft. Uh, she draws about 14 feet fully laden. Back in the 1800s, life for sailors was, was pretty tough. You didn't get much sleep. The food was pretty bland. The money was decent, but not great. But you got to see the world, which was kind of the cool part. Uh, most sailors were uneducated. Sometimes they came from long history of family being sailors, and uh, that's kind of why they went into the line of work. In the day-to-day, -day, sailors lived in what we call washes. The most common one was four hours on, and uh, that's actually where we get our uh, expression eight bells all as well. So every eight bells was every four hours, so they rang it every 30 minutes. So they had a hourglass that they would turn to keep the time while they were on board. You could get called to do anything. You know, it could be middle of the night and they send you up to the Royal, which is 100 feet in the air on Alyssa. And you'll have to either loose or furl that. And of course, the ship's rocking back and forth. And the higher you go, the more pitch you have uh, at that high point. So it can be pretty scary. Crossing the ocean can be pretty treacherous. It can also be wonderfully spectacular. You're out in the middle of nowhere. You really don't have a lifeline except for the Coast Guard baby if you're in American waters, of course. There's no help. It's, it's you and the ship and your shipmates, and you need to rely on each other in order to get through it. And we have a saying, uh, ship, shipmate, self, and that's the order that you take care of things in. You take care of the ship because she'll take care of you. You take care of your shipmates because they'll take care of you, and then you take care of yourself. Probably two of the most terrifying things on a ship are fire and, of course, the ship going down and, and having to swim or drowning. Sailors had uh, ways of coping with that. Most of them were superstitions, giving a toast to Poseidon before the sail started. Uh, that's what we do on Alyssa. Other things are tattoos. One of the superstitions is if you have a pig and a rooster tattoo on your feet, you won't drown. And that comes from the livestock would have been carried on, on deck in cages, and they didn't drown because they were the first ones overboard. They never got stuck in the hole if the ship went down. Uh, so that's, that's an interesting one. Our, our first mate actually has those tattoos. Okay, guys, that's it for me this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Please stay tuned to see what's coming up next. So hit that notification bell, like and subscribe. It helps out so much. I'm actually <laughs> making my way to 100. Woo! <laughs> I see these people on YouTube and they're like, yeah, we've reached 100,000. Oh, we got a million. I know you have to put in the work, you have to put in the time, you have to pay your dues. That's how this, that's how this all goes. All of life is like that. You guys take care. I will see you in the next one. Peace out.